Hi everybody. Good morning. Um, just reporting to you on Tuesday, February 15th, halfway through the month. Can you believe it already? Um, just wanting to check in and let you know that things are going well. I'm planning on doing a weekly reports, not daily uh, release reports. So I will be reporting next week, Monday. Um, wanted to um, tell you that I was thinking about calling this round the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, because there's going to be some really good and there's going to be some really bad and most likely some real ugly stuff this round. Made my lunch for the day and uh, decided to have a lean uh, ground beef patty and it reminded me of a recipe that I saw on the internet um, this summer that my husband and I tried and it said if you want the juiciest burgers in town this is what you do and you use like for a pound of um, beef you would put in a tablespoon of the um, McCormick's Grill Masters beef seasoning a tablespoon and then a cup of water to a pound of hamburger and we did that and it made really juicy moist um, burgers and even when you had leftovers they wouldn't dry they wouldn't be dry so I decided to try that so I took my um, 100 grams of burger today and I put in three tablespoons of water in a bowl and then I put my um, McCormick seasoning I just sprinkled to appearance and then some chop 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 onion and then the meat and I mixed it together using a spoon and it was kind of the consistency of thick oatmeal and I literally I had my grill on hot my griddle and I like poured the meat onto the pan and you know shaped it with my spoon and cooked it and I'll let you know the results um, but I'm sure it'll be fine it smells divine and it feels as if it's rather um, moist and tender so um, give that a consideration which reminds me of something else uh, as far as smells and that is um, like last night I told you that I was having company over it was my stepson who was coming over I had made a pot of beef stew um, on Sunday and they were coming he my husband had gone to pick him up because we have snow and his house my stepson's house is way up so he has to walk out because he can't drive and uh, then my husband was going to pick him up at the base of the hill. And as I was sitting there as they were eating this beef stew and homemade cornbread and butter and honey. And they were going, mmm, God, this is good. Because I make a good pot of stew. Um, I got some smells of it. And it reminded me of... Um, a decision that I had made last year that has worked for me and it has to do with your senses and you know right now we're being deprived of our sense of taste but that doesn't mean that we have to be deprived of our sense of smell and I have found that if I don't resist an odor that's pleasant to me I am actually finding pleasure in it I used to tell my husband, when I'm on phase two, you can't make popcorn. Because I love popcorn, and the smell is pretty strong, of course. And then one day, I walked outside of my girlfriend's house, and the neighbors were barbecuing. And that's an also very pleasing smell. And it, I started to resist it and like get upset that I couldn't have the meats that, you know, these people were cooking and with the sauces and stuff like that and at that moment that I decided I decided to embrace the smell and I literally stood there and just inhaled and you know what it helped so last night same thing beef stew it smelled so good and I decided to give myself the pleasure of smelling the beef stew and I was satisfied so today, if you come across an, a smell that just is divine, maybe you can enjoy it. All right, have a good day. Bye.